They told us we needed to go after the younger demographic. This is our solution. <laughs> Watch this, Ronnie. Watch. We're going to do a transformation real quick. Watch. On the next Men Are So Smart, we go into our mailbag and open our inbox. In Inbox Me. And we're not going to touch the female bag at all. Next. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. Hey, you know, uh, we get a lot of email. I've noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, oh, three, four from the same person every day, Ron. No matter how many times <laughs> I filter that out, they get them through. How does that work? We don't know. But we get your email and we get your questions. Yes. They come directly to us. And then what we do is uh, we just keep setting them aside until we get enough to do an episode. Yeah. And today is that day. You're fortunate to be here. Now, if you're new to the show, please feel free to like the episode and subscribe to our channel. That would be very much appreciated. When yeah. you do, click the bell, too. That way you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. Dear Lou and Ronnie, I'm telling you, we get the weirdest questions. Check it out. These are a little bizarre. Dear Lou and Ronnie, is it okay to have sex on the mattress at a furniture store? I'm here to tell you, they will <laughs> take away your they'll take away your membership at Costco if you do. Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, uh, is this during hours that they're open? Or, um, well, you know, sometimes when that urge strikes, yeah, strike, strike while the iron's hot. You know what I do a lot of times when I'm in the market for a bed? I'll call a person like, you know, from the Craigslist, yeah, and I'll ask them if they have the bed in their garage. And when they say yes, I'll say, Can I come over? Maybe take a short nap on it before I decide. <laughs> Let me sleep on it. I recommend that to you. Thank you very much for your question. Next one, Ron. <laughs> uh, years ago, I stole a Gideon's Bible from a hotel. Mm. Will I get in trouble with that Jesus fella? That if, Jesus fella? Or if this person's uh, Hispanic, it could be Jesus. Jesus. Ooh, oh. Yeah. So. Will I get in trouble with that Jesus fan? My fella? gardener would probably not like that if you stole that. Although, you know what? I think they really put those Bibles there for you to take. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. That probably all right. Thank you for your email. Appreciate it. That was uh, from Jesus. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> was he asking for a friend? Uh, if you'd like to email us our questions, here comes our email addresses right there, okay? Uh, next up, dear Lou and Ronnie, I, if I get hired at a Samsung Galaxy store uh -huh. as a security guard, yeah. wouldn't I technically be the guardian of the galaxy? <laughs> A lot of thought went into that question. Yes, there's a lot of setup. Huh. I'm not sure it was worth it, but you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be Chris Pratt by any stretch of the imagination, but I guess you might be Groot. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. There's a picture. <laughs> All right. Next one, Ron. Uh, now, I have the same problem. When I fart, a brown cloud of smoke literally escapes my nether regions. Is that near Sweden? <laughs> what is this called, and where can I cash in on it? Huh, well, uh, that's a great question. Um, and you know, a great question deserves a great answer, so I've done some research. Oh, good. And this is from Al, thank you, Al. Uh, it's called flatus. Well. Yeah. Um, in and my case, it's just dust. I'm so <laughs> old that when I fart, it's dust. Uh, so. What is it called? All right, there you go. And and where can I cash in on it? Um, hmm. Hmm. I would say you could fuel it with Taco Bell. Uh, you know what? If you made yourself a YouTube video, <laughs> it might. Hey, I got an idea. You might get some hits. Someday. Come on our show. Yes. Al, come on our show. <laughs> We'd like to see that. Okay. Did you do any camping when you were growing up? Some, but it, it's just not a good experience. But okay. I'm sure you have a good one. Yes. So we used to sit around and, uh, you know, sit around the campfire and keep warm. Like in Blazing Saddles? You, But yes, but it, if you have a lighter, uh -huh. you can actually light your farts. I've seen that done. Yes. And we call them Flaming Blue Blazers. 
because that is the color that they turn. Um, and so, I and I've been playing fantasy football for 20 years now. I don't know that what it has to do with farting. The name of my team is the Flaming Blue Blazers. Oh, okay, now it all makes sense. And so people ask me, what the hell is a Flaming Blue Blazer? I have to explain to yeah. them. Yeah, it's when you light your fart. Well, um, you know, now you know what it's called. Yes. Now you yes. know how to make sure you can continue to do it. <laughs> and Get you, yourself your own YouTube channel. That's my recommendation. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, come to us first. Okay, we need the viewers. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Next up, Dear Lou and Ronnie. God, they just keep getting better, Ron. Oh. Do you think Shaq's feet stink? Uh, I could smell them from here. If, if they do, that's a load of stink because that's a big, big foot. What do you know? What size his foot is? Oh my God! It's something like twenty. Yeah, I think that's what I heard. Like Twenty-four. Uh, now you know he's a partial owner of the Sacramento Kings. Oh, that's right! I completely forgot about that. And one year, uh, the year after he bought some ownership, he came to the very first game, and I was I was working for the sheriff's department at the time, and a whole bunch of us were standing in an area. There were probably six or eight deputies standing in line. He came right down and shook every one of our hands and said, thank you very much. But his hand, yeah. it was the size of a baseball glove. Right. It just wrapped around my hand yeah. as he shook it. Dwarfing it. It's crazy. Yeah. That is a big, big man. Uh, you know, it's funny because uh, I'm 6'3", and I'm used to being kind of the tallest guy in the room most, a lot of the times. But one time, uh, many, many years ago, I met Richard Keel. From James oh, Bond, Jaws. Jaws yes. I met him in a hotel cafeteria uh, or, or whatever, um, and I could not get over watching him try to drink a cup of coffee, you know, so, out of the cup. Out of a little plate tea set? Be because he couldn't get his fingers through the hole <laughs> that you hold it by. And so he was drinking this thing like this, and this little tiny cup in his hand. And he just dwarfed me. He's seven feet tall, oh, my gosh. Man. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, we'll close up the inbox. Thank you so much for watching today. Wanted to mention, if you have a question for us, we'd love to hear from you. My email is lou, L-O-U, at mentorsosmart.com. And mine is ronnie, R-O-N-N-I-E, at mentorsosmart.com. I always forget the last part. It's dot com, mentorsosmart.com. Sorry. Yep. Ronnie at mentorsosmart.com. Tempo. And uh, you can find all of the information that you'd like, uh, our social media, our blogs, everything, our sponsors. You'll find that below. They help to make this show possible. Big special shout out to Trico Welding Supplies for all that they do. Yep. Okay, I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.